a very loving church. They're very welcoming. And Behind Cornerstone Church of the Nazarene is where an unwelcomed person did a lot of damage. It's uh, frustrating as a pastor. On March 4th, just before 6 a.m., someone broke into the fellowship hall and lit it on fire. The fire started in this room. It's where kids and teens met for youth group. It's been built by, you know, sweat, blood, and tears, and, and then somebody comes and and does something that's just horrendous. The fellowship hall is used for other church and community gatherings. A memorial dinner was planned for a week after the fire. It was the first major event since the pandemic. I hope he knows he did wrong, first of all, but um, there is a certain amount of restitution in that too, that making things right. IMPD is investigating this case. Pastor Randy Gentry says surveillance footage shows the suspect was on the property for hours before starting the fire. Evil's everywhere. Um, I don't know if it's just a, a thrill or, or something that accomplishment, gang thing, I don't know. Um, you never know, but God knows. There are cameras all over this building. They aren't hidden at all. In the past few years, the church has had some equipment stolen and some windows broken, but nothing compared to this. That's not going to make us quit. It's, there's still a, there's still a uh, purpose and there's still a, a job to do. Just as much as Pastor Gentry believes in accountability, his faith teaches him to forgive. I pray that someday someone will uh, come into his life and reach him and, and um, will help him. On the city's south side, Lindsay Eaton, CBS 4 News. Now the church is still working with the insurance company to figure out the next steps. If you recognize that person in the surveillance pictures, call Crime Stoppers. The number is 262-TIPS.